Hi, I'm Moonwater Silverclaw, and I'm the founder of GoddessHasYourBack.com and the author of nine books. In today's episode, we're going to talk about how witches handle not accepting your body type. First of all, I want to let you know that this conversation is to be supportive of whatever situation you're in. Now, I'm not just talking about weight in general. I'm talking about any aspect of your body that you're not comfortable with. It could be your nose, it could be your ears, anything that makes you feel ugly. I know that's a tough word, but we're talking about painful feelings. And I want to have a conversation about how we can get you to a better place in your thoughts and feelings. For me, I'm nowhere near a model type body. I have my pooch, I have my different pieces of me that I would rather be just something else, but I'm trying to just accept who I am and love who I am. I'm actively doing spiritual practices that connect with my true self, the self that the gods know. I have three insights for you about this. The first one is careful about focusing on a so-called flaw. Goddess made you in the way she wanted to, and things that you think might be flaws might actually be something for you to journey with or learn from. I have a phrase, your fight may be someone's light. I have a pooch area that's right by my belly button. I don't like it, but it was there when I was only 114 pounds too. So no matter what I do, it's not going to go away. And that's okay. When we look at the depiction of goddess, you notice that she's got all sorts of body types, from small and thin to large and voluptuous. It all works. So why can't we open the door to accept ourselves and our body type? So why don't we accept our body type? It's the media. The media shows all of these pictures of people who starve themselves, show their ribs, and they make that look like it's the ideal, when that's actually very sick. But even with movies that I like to watch, like for example, the Marvel movies, the men and women in those movies have to work crazy hours in order to keep their bodies in that kind of shape. And they're also genetically gifted that their shape is a pleasing form to the media. They were born to be actors and models. It's all about genetics and eating perfectly. And I don't know about you, but I like to have a bit of chocolate now and then. I like to be able to eat what I want within reason and be happy and not be stressed out or hungry over having no food. I wanted to go back to the so-called flaw. If you look at runway models, they're starving themselves for one specific purpose, to be a glorified clothes hanger for obsessive fashion designers. It's not fair to compare ourselves to somebody who that's their whole job in life, is to be a hanger. Let's move on now to the second insight. Your worthiness is not connected to your body type. Your worthiness is about who you are, not what you look like. And the goddess made both your spirit and your body, and both are important. The body is there to be able to help you stay healthy and to give you the energy you need for your spell work or for other things that you need to do. And your spirit is your essence, who you truly are. And just equating your essence with a body type just doesn't work. Now, I'm not saying that I'm perfect. I've done the yo-yo dieting and I've gotten smaller and trying to be attractive for attracting a partner. And I noticed that focusing on what you look like constantly can really screw you up. And it's not fair to you because you're focusing on one small aspect of who you really are. So you might see a couple and you wonder, how did she get him? Or how did he get her? And it's all about the person, not the packaging. I remember Roger Rabbit, the movie, and one of the characters was Jessica Rabbit. And she was answering someone's question who asked, why are you with him? And she answered, he makes me laugh. Which means it's the personality, it's the connection between two beings, not just what the packaging is. 
Remember your worthiness was put there by the gods. It's your true self, who you really are. And the gods love you. And now our third insight. No real acceptance with the goddess. Well, of course the goddess is going to accept you. You're part of her. And you're part of the god, too. The point is, we need to shift from being focused on the mundane world to the spiritual world. For example, be sure you do your meditation and make sure you do ritual when you need to. Especially in meditation, you can experience the goddess and her acceptance of you. When I think of acceptance, I think about what I share in my online course, Goddess Style Weight Loss. Instead of being brutal on yourself about diets, you're able to eat in a natural way that the gods intended. My online course is at udemy.com. And now to summarize. The first insight was careful about focusing on a so-called flaw. Number two, your worthiness is not connected to your body type. And number three, no real acceptance with the goddess. I'm Moonwater Silverclaw. To go further and deeper, you can join me at goddesshasyourback.com. You can also read one of my nine books or take a class at udemy.com. My course is Goddess Style Weight Loss. Blessed be.